Hello, everybody. My name is Johnny Scoville. This is a pod review. This is Chase E, people. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Kind of happy about this. I love, you guys know this, I'm a chili head. I like trying new sauces for the first time. I like trying new pods for the first time. So we have one person. We're going to wait a little bit and allow some people to join us. And then we'll get this party started. Okay, people, these are pods. Hi, Jimmy Pickles. Hi, Shane. These are pods I got from the man. Just joined us, Jimmy Pickles. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Corey. Good to see you, buddy. Thank you for being here. Hi, Desiree. Hello, Clerks93. Trickstar. Hi, Maximum. Cam2. Jeskoon01. Hi, Aaron. Hi, guys. Hi, Merkster. Good to see you. Hi, Chad. Hello, Guy. Appreciate you guys joining me. Thank you. Jimmy Pickles, isolated seeds, uh, gives the extra seeds in every order. I got a bunch of pods from Jimmy Pickles. A whole bunch of really cool pods. Little ones, big ones, gnarly ones. Really pretty ones like that. But what we're going to review today. It's a Jimmy Pickles exclusive. Bane Strain Peach. A beautiful pod. Beautiful pepper. All right. So, got a few other cool ones we will be eating. Before I eat this, I want to give a few shout outs. Uh, these are people in some family, uh, Scoville family that, that hi, uh, Austin. Some Scoville family that came out to South Carolina. I just want to give a quick shout out. They held the camera and, uh, hi, Jeremy. I uh, did some filming while I was on stage, which we'll talk about. It was the first time I've gone live since. We'll do some talking about that later. But uh, Guy, thank you, Guy. James, I'm not going to give last names, but Guy, James, Polly, very cool hanging out with you guys. Russell, you guys were all pretty awesome, man. Pretty cool you guys came out and helped out. That was awesome. Hi, Jessica Alexander. Also met Jessica and her family at the uh, Lenny Boys. We did our uh, Death Nut 2.0 challenge. That was kind of fun. All right, guys. Um, so here's what we got. Here's what we're working with. Hi, Roger. The boy, get ready for. We're after this. We're going to talk for a while. I'm going to be on for about an hour, I figure. But man, get ready for this live stream. It's going to be a good one. All right, Bane Strain Peach. Here's what we got. Essentially, Kevin Bain. It's a Kevin Bain creation, the Bane Strain. So Kevin Bain crossed the pepper and grew it for a couple of years, gave exclusive rights to Jimmy. So he's been growing this for a while. It's an F4 right now. Uh, what that means is, you guys, I'm not an expert at it, but if you take two paws and you cross them, the first year, what you the, the crossed uh Fruit is called an F1. What happens is um, when that, like these are the desired shape he likes. What happens is the first year it was a cross between a peach ghost and a white ghost. You cross them and, and uh, the, you pick the pod design, shape, phenotype, uh, phenotype they call it. You pick the one you want that you want to hone in on and reproduce and then you grow that out again and that's an F2 and F3. And each year you do that. Um, you know, it'll get more and more consistent. Like a, a ghost pepper, super consistent pod. They all kind of look the same. Uh, this is only at an F4 stage. It's actually, here's how this was created. Okay, you guys? And yes, guy, that was very cool. Thank you. Uh, tell, I don't know if Polly's here, but tell us how that was fun. All right, so the cross is a peach ghost crossed with a white ghost, okay? <coughs> Grew that out uh, for several years, and he crossed it with a butch T. In other words, it's basically a, a peach ghost, white ghost crossed with a butch T scorpion. Um, and this is a, a newbie, a new one. 
So I'm excited about this. I like trying pods. I haven't before. So this is the Bain Strain Peach. Thank you, Scott, Michael, for this. And the most awesome official pod cutting board and cheese board. All right, so I'm kind of excited to try this. Bain Strain. So remember the pods we're looking for. It's a peach ghost, white ghost with a butch tea. Sounds like a great uh, combination of uh, flavors. The blade is coated. Ooh. Boy, can, I want you to see if you guys can see the... the uh, let me see. Hold on. Let's see if... Uh, do you see the oils? How much the oils are glistening on the outside, on the wall lining? And it's almost solid placenta. Right here, it's all, it's almost solid. This is where the heat lives, not in the seeds. So it's got a very very fruity aroma. Vince Jones, brother, man, I dig you, Vince. Vince and I, Vince is like probably the only one on here I've known longer is uh, on here for sure is Desert. I've known Vince a long time. What a great aroma. Absolutely love the aroma of this. Super fruity, almost has citrus notes. Loving the aroma of this. Okay. Thank you, Jimmy Pickles. Here we go. I'm Johnny Scoble. This is Chase E. What an interesting pepper. It was sweeter than I thought it was going to be. Very fruity. Citrus notes for sure. It tastes like burning. <clears throat> um... Kind of had a ghost flavor, like a peach ghost flavor, which makes sense because there's peach ghost in there. Um, now, the white ghost is not really that hot. The white ghost is uh, Ralph Wiggum. You got that right, Merkster. Um, the white ghost, I don't really consider it a super hot. It's very, very fruity. A very, very, very juicy pepper because the wall lining is so much thicker than a regular ghost. Um Oh, we got the white. White ghost is a fruity pepper, but if you, the, you get, this is like it's definitely hotter than a like a pe Jay's peach ghost. This is hotter. The burn is on my tongue, kind of creeping to the back of my throat. What? Smash that like button! Yeah, you guys. Let's I Pat. Good to see you. Uh, heat on it. If you're a non chili head, this would really. It would be a bummer, probably. No actual peach in the flavor. Uh, if you're a non-chili head, this is going to, you know, bum you out. It's probably peaked for me. Wonderful flavor. There's no bitterness. really wasn't very floral. Uh, non-chili head, it'd be, yeah, you'd be really bummed out. Like I think if you if you're a non chili head and you ate this, it would probably bum me out. So I think that um you I, I think any non chili head would say this is a ten. Because if you're a non chili head that you've never tasted anything this hot, it would just be shocking, shocking to your system. So yeah, this is definitely a uh, a ten for a non chili head. If you're somebody chasing the heat, you're one of us, one of the family, and you're, uh, I think you would probably find this to be 
I'm telling you, still you're still gonna be up around a seven, seven for this. It's like a two for me, but that's hot. My tars, I've been eating a lot of pods lately, a lot of everything. So uh, very very hot pepper though. The, the it's peaked, but man, it's just doing one of these on my tongue. Very fruity though. Yeah, Jimmy, lots of capsaicin oil. On the in, the wall lining, when I cut it open, forget about it. Great pepper. Let me show you what else I got. Uh, we'll be eating the rest of these directly. Not today on this video, but soon. This is a pumpkin bubble gum. Now, you guys, what's so exciting? I'll show you that in just a minute. This is Nahi uh, Cherapita. Pretty interesting pepper. I think I have a few of these. I do. I have a few of these little... Things right here. Um, keep it family friendly, guys. I haven't announced it on this one. But it's a family show. Lots of kids watching. Moms and dads and such. As a result, we want you to keep it clean. No bad language. Keep it rated G. Now, here's really cool about a uh, bubble gum. The bubble gum pods. All right, look. This right here is a sunbeam. It's a very pretty pepper. But you see where the uh, the stem attaches right here to the pod? It's around, not quite round. You see it? It's like a collar around the stem. It's called a calyx. When you get a bubblegum pod, they're pretty similar in color, actually, right? See the calyx here is green? Look at the calyx on this one. The color of the pod bleeds into the calyx. If you look closely, there's it's, there's a calyx there. Looks like a little collar around the pod, but it's taking on the color of the pod. And if I pull this off right here, let me. I'll try to get it off without breaking it. You can kind of see that the color is actually bleeding into the stem, not just the calyx right here, but it's actually bleed, starting to bleed up into the stem, the color. Really, really, really cool quality of a bubble gum. I think that's the neatest thing. Vermont, J Biscuit 32. I love that. Hi, Aston. So anyway, that's a very cool pot. I'm very, very excited to eat this one. What we got here is a uh, purple hob. Little number right there. Right here we got uh, the Teja Habanero. Okay, the Sunbeam I just showed you. This little number is called the Bomb. How could that little thing hurt you? Boy, does that look yummy? Then we got this, which is a uh, pri a primordial, primordial, I guess, primordial. Gnarly looking little creature, all bumpy. Look at the bumps and and a rainforest. Now the rainforest is a cool pod because it's kind of cool. But if you look at it this way, it's a very very pretty pepper. Kind of neat. So anyway, that's what we got going in the next day or so. So thank you, Jimmy, for that great delicious pepper. Teja Habanero is a first-year release also. I will be eating one of those tomorrow night. I'm going to be going live a little bit longer because we got to go live. Uh, got to make hay when the sun's shining. <clears throat> I have an awful lot of travel coming up. I'm going to try to uh, – uh, my goal uh, is to have a couple uh, videos made so all I can do is just kind of upload it so – when I go like to the Philippines or whatever, I don't. You're not going days without any uploads. That's a drag. I owe you better than that. Yeah, vibrant pods, Jamie, for sure. All right, so I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. The burn's gone. It was lovely. Still have the taste though. The burn's gone completely, but the taste is still there. <laughs> All right, um, let's do a little question and answer. Um, Prima Tali. There we go, Chad. Is that what it says, Prima Tali? Yep, Prima Tali. Sorry. Uh, Vince Jones, dude. So good to see you, man. Hi, Jeremy. 
All right. South Carolina. <coughs> no cream soda tonight. This is uh, cranberry juice. <coughs> Although I just tried to breathe it, which is sort of a drag. Um, let's talk about the, uh, what's the tattoo on the inside of my left wrist? This one here. This is a purple tiger. Or a pig tiger, excuse me. I uh, that was a tog, a pod grown by uh, Donnie Armstrong grew this, and I did to cover up a, a tattoo I didn't like. Anyhow, so let's talk about South Carolina real quick. It was crazy. Competition was rough. Some big chili heads from around the world were there. Dustin. From the U.S., obviously, uh, Chili Sid from the U.K. Uh, hi, David Haith. Good to see you, Mark Star. Good to see you, dude. Um, we had uh, Brianna Skinner from Australia, uh, Mike from Canada. We've had there was a whole bunch of people there. Right? Uh, Nick from the Nick and Jay Pepper Show was on my right when we started. Had Heather Bazinga from Heat 101 on my left. Tom, uh, the real Mahoney. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate that. It means a lot. Far side was Tom uh, Petropolis. No, I'm forgetting a few. Several others. It was amazing. The pods were huge. You know, it was a, the pods were very, very big. The first one was a torpedo, uh, torpedo jalapeno, kind of hot, large. After that, every single round had multiple pods, so it was kind of rough. You know, it was a rough challenge. I mean, I think it was uh, Dustin Johnson won. He's a madman. He's broken. I mean, we were all broken, but he's broken. Uh, it was a great contest, though, you know. It came down to uh, – I, I came out fourth. Here's the deal. Here's what it came down to. I want to give my all, but I've never barfed. Uh, I've never thrown up on camera. I threw up uh, – I did a video and I barked over there. It was off camera though. So I've never like totally like evacuated with a video running. I didn't want that to be the first time I do it because that's going to be televised around the world. So, you know, if I had eaten one more pepper, I was going to hurl. I mean, hurl. There's a lot of peppers in me, you know, it would have been brutal. Thank you, Tim. Appreciate that, dude. You're a champ in my book too. <coughs> Here's the deal, man. Um, Ed said it, everybody, I kind of agree with everybody. Anybody who steps up there and sits down on that stage is a hero, you know, is a, is a winner. You know, we put a spotlight on the Chile community, which is great. Um, you know, it's a frightening thing to do. Those are the, some of the hottest peppers in the world or the biggest peppers I ever saw. So, you know, it was, a none of the peppers are mild. You're right, Desiree. It was just really, really, really hot. And it was, you know. It was an honor to be sitting among all those people. That was really cool. They were the who's who of the pepper eaters, you know. Um, you know, it's crazy when you walk up there. It was weird. You know, everybody's kind of looking at you like, oh, my God, he's one of them. You know, and they're all looking at you going like, it's like watching somebody, I don't know, do something that the, like you wouldn't want to do. That's part of it, you know. But everybody there was, was – uh, Man, everybody there was in shock. You do, your body goes into shock. If you, you watch the video, everybody's just like, it's a nightmare. A lot of fun. Really, really enjoyed it. Uh, Brody, I'm your favorite chili head. Thank you for saying that, man. I appreciate it. Uh, what makes the jigsaw worse than a, what makes the jigsaw worse than a reaper for you? I don't know if I got a rogue jigs jigsaw. It was just a rogue. Jigsaw, like the first time I ever got one. But Steve Baylor, who I met in South Carolina, known him for years on social media, but I hadn't met him in person. He grew a uh, he grew a uh, fatale that I grew or fatale jigsaw I ate a year ago, and it gave me an endorphin rush from one pepper, and that's so unusual. It really got my attention. So I don't know if it's uh, I don't know. I don't know if I just got a rogue one and it's stuck in my head. But the jigsaw seems like a really brutal pepper. Um, Carolyn Kennard. Good to see you, girl. Whoops. Glad this here. Hope you're doing well. Hope your mom's doing well. Um, Carolyn, I think the peppers were, I'm just being really honest. You know, I think the uh, peppers and the whole competition, I'm not taking anything away from Shahina or the 
the contest we have, and there'll be a great uh, rematch. We haven't arranged the time or the date yet, but um, the fact that there were 15 people created a, it was a more intense challenge because of that. You know what I mean? I think everybody kind of went pushed themselves a little bit farther because there were so many people there, and that made it different than uh, than London, where it was just me and uh, Shana. Uh, it was a harder challenge than the one I went through in uh, 15 rounds, dude. I didn't realize that. It was harder than the the pepper contest I did in uh, New Zealand. It was worse than the one in uh, uh, Australia. It was bad. It was the worst one. And I, I'm, you know, next year they'll, I'll be back, and we're gonna do it again. And I'm gonna go after it next year. You know, it is what it is. And there are people saying, "Listen, this is really important." There, are, there are people that say, "Oh, it's just not fair because it's a speed round." It's, it's fair. I gotta work on my game. There's nothing unfair about it. So what? I'm not good at it. It's like somebody doing a triathlon saying, but they're swimming. Yeah, it's part of the gig. Swimming. If you aren't good at swimming, practice swimming. <laughs> I know you guys are all supportive of me. That's awesome. But I'm going to work on uh, on my speed. And it's like I talked about. The way you got to work on your speed in peppers isn't to eat a bunch of peppers fresh. Like right, eating all these right now wouldn't be working on my speed. Eating peppers to the point where you really can't eat any more peppers. And then eating peppers as fast as you can, that's working on your speed. So I need to work on that. But I'll do it. No one ate a Pepper X while we were out there. Um, ate a lot of really crazy pods, though. It was amazing. I had a really fun time. i got to tell you a funny story. There's this dude named uh, Funny Story. <clears throat> I'm in uh, Lenny Boys doing a uh, Death Nut 2.0 challenge. I'm the master of ceremony. So we're doing the challenge, and there's like seven people to start with. Dude named Matt there. So Matt's there. Hey, SD Design. Matt's there. And uh, Taylor. They're not boyfriend or girlfriend. They're just good friends. They work together. Funny situation. So we're doing the Death Nut Challenge 2.0. And I did it with them. We all went through it. And everybody. And at one point, I think like round four. I said, everybody here, put your hand up. Everybody here, eat before. No one's doing this on an empty stomach. And this dude named Matt goes, I haven't eaten. I went, not ideal. Not ideal. Uh, so he went through and ate it. And then he disappears. After the contest is over, he's really hurting. He's changing colors and stuff. So he goes to the bathroom because he thinks he's going to throw up. So he's not he's not around for a while. So I go to the bathroom. He's on the ground. He's like in the bathroom, like not good. He I go back to my where a bunch of people I was hanging out with. He comes out of the bathroom with his pants around his knees. True story. Pants around his knees, all in the fog. Not really sure like what, where he is. Like crying, like crying. There's a table with a big uh, bench, like a like a bench, not like chairs, but a bench. He lays down, puts his head on the lap of a woman. He doesn't know. He doesn't know this person. So she says she has some kids or a son about the same age as Matt. So she went into mother mode and started mothering him. She's like, get this boy some milk. There was no milk. Get him some water. There was water. So he got him some water. He's like, she was like patting his head with a rag. Um, anyway, let me see if I can show you the picture. It's worthy of showing if you guys can all see it. It's hilarious. So at one point, Matt's like dying on the couch. Can you guys see this? Here is Matt dying on the couch. And that's Taylor behind him pointing, laughing hysterically whilst holding a beer. Now that's true friendship. Now this is them an hour later. This is them an hour later. They were all together and everybody's laughing. But I have to tell you how funny that was. That was awesome. All right, so who's got some more questions? Anybody have any? Tim, I love how full of life and zeal you are. How much you enjoying life and bringing us along. There are people spending 100 times more money than you and not having half the fun. Good for you. Thank you, Tim. I'm very blessed. SD Design, thank you so much. Let's get this party started. <clears throat> you know, you got this is the deal. I just want to live my best life. I didn't know it was... You know, the thing is, you don't really know what your best life is until you start living it. You know what I mean? 
I'm living my best life. I can't imagine it being any better. If I won the lottery, I wouldn't do anything different. No, I don't have a day job anymore, Sean. I do this full time. Here's the truth of it. Um, Sean, I don't think uh, I could find a day job um, that would tolerate the amount of travel I do. I'm never home, you know. Like in the month of uh, October, this this coming October, I think I'm home like six or seven days out of the whole month. You know, it's just really, really hectic and crazy. Will Junior survive? Yeah, he's going to have a good time. It's definitely going to be a... Uh, it's definitely going to be a uh, unique experience for him. I mean, he's an 18-year-old kid, you know, and he's a good boy. I love him a lot. But he just graduated, and we're, for, he, you know, blessed enough to have a really cool channel where I don't, he doesn't have to go work for somebody. <laughs> he can come work for me. No, we're going to work on the channel together. He's going to go on these trips with me. And, you know, he's, he's good for the channel. The channel is good for him. The travel is really a special thing. It's like the best part of, the, of what I do. I'm very fortunate. You know, I think, I don't know if he's watching this, but I think his mom wants him to go get a job or work for somebody. It's just not going to happen. He's going to work with me. So we're really excited about that. That's going to be an awful lot of fun. Um, uh, she did beat me, Lawn Dog. Oh, I don't know. I, I did the best I could. It was really kind of interesting. Right before the video started, the the guy did the MC from the UK, from the Clifton Chili Club. He said, you know, traditionally, women do better at this than men. I'm making that up. I think there's something maybe to that. I did the best I could. You know, I'm not Superman. I'm really not. You guys think I'm uh, some People always say legends. I'm just a normal guy. I have a high tolerance for pain and, and peppers, but there are people that are faster than me. I don't think that anybody has more fun than I do. I think I have more fun by accident than most people have on purpose, but... Um, you know, I did the best I could. I'm holding my head up very high because I'm not too worried about it, you know. If I gave up or punked out or something, then I'd kinda, I wouldn't be able to look you guys in the eye, you know. I feel horrible. But I gave it my all. If you didn't see the video, yeah, if you didn't see the video already um, that I did this morning, <coughs> it was the last pepper, the last round that I was in, stuck in on. And I was eating a pod and it was just killing me. So I was going to die. I had, I had to swallow it twice. I had, I had my head down like this. And as I swallowed it, it tried to come up. I kept my hand here because I thought it was going to come out. I swallowed it a second time. I should get extra bonus points for swallowing those peppers twice. But I lifted my head up. And as I lifted my head up, the first person I looked at was Ed Curry right in front of me. And he just goes, it's okay, Johnny. He mouths it. He goes, like, it's okay, Johnny. Um, no shame. He goes, it's okay. It was really, really cool kind of gave me permission to tap out because I was thinking about you guys. I was thinking about all you guys. And I, I was thinking, what an awful situation to be in because here I have all you guys I want to represent. I know you guys are supporting me and you guys, I want, I'm doing this for the family. You know what I mean? So I have all that pressure of wanting to do it for the family, but at the same time, I'm not wanting to throw up in front of anybody. So I'm not wanting to let, I, it was just awful. So, but I feel good about what I did, you know, I did the best I could. I've never let up. I've never laid down, you know. A lot of the family showed up, man. I had people driving from all over the place. Jeremy uh, came down. Uh, Jeremy Bell uh, drove for <laughs> – I'm having an asthma attack here, you guys. Sorry about that. He drove uh, seven and a half hours with his children. It was awesome. He did the Death Nut 2 Challenge with me at, at Lenny Boy's. So he was there. We had a lot of people. It was just a really guy was there with Polly and I'm sorry, Russell and James. So that was really awesome. Um, the whole thing was a really wonderful experience, you know, but it's just heating up because now things for the next two months from now until uh, I'm traveling. Here's the deal. You guys, I'm traveling. To, we're going to be in jungle gyms in Ohio. Uh, uh, left eye pat. It's called the uh, Weekend of Fire, Jungle Gems. Um, uh, I lost my chance that thought. Sorry about that. Did you hear anything from the documentary in Fort Mill? Yeah, they were, uh, they were there filming the whole time. The day of the event, I got there like 10 o'clock. They put a mic on me, a little thing stuck in my, uh, on my belt. And it was in my shirt here. So no matter where I went, they were like, recording me and listening to me and filming me. 
Um, it was pretty crazy. I'd be like, I'm going to the bat. I'm going to the men's room. Cut the mic. It was pretty crazy. Um, yeah, Johnny Jr. is, is really excited. And Tommy, man, I'll tell you something. It's going to be a lot of fun. You know, Johnny Jr. wants to jump out of an airplane, you know, and his first trip is going to be Tampa. He's moving down here on the 4th of September. Um, so the, his first trip is going to be to Tampa. Then it's, then it's going to be the week of fire in October, the early part of October in Ohio. And then um, the end of October is going to, or the middle of October is Newcastle, England. So what we're going to be doing is this. We're going to be, uh, this is how we're going to run the show uh, moving forward. We're going to travel a lot, like an awful lot, uh, from uh, January through October. But November, December, I'm, I'm going to, you know, not take the month off. I'm going to still make videos and still do some live streams probably, but I'm not going to do uh, no more, no travel in the month of November, December. Just need a bit of a break. But um, I am coming to Tampa, you bet. Ghost pepper chips and Miss Renfo's is awesome. Um, Alan says, how do you feel about Junior jumping out of a plane? He's 18. He's very much like me. He's, got, he's a very strong-willed kid. There are essentially two kinds of people, you know what I'm going to say, people that would jump out of a plane and people that wouldn't. He's that guy that would. He's not a boy. He's like six, you know, almost 6'4", 230. He uh, he wants to jump. I'm not gonna tell him no. So I'm not I'm not worried about it. You know he'll do he'll learn. You know he's got the hood split to do it. Hey Chad Pedley, thank you so much, brother. It means a lot, honestly. Thank you. But yeah, I'm really excited about it. Someone asked if I had a new watch. It's not. It's my older one I've had for a while. Um, I have a GMT diver watch, and the GMT has a dual function, so you can track time in two different zones. But that part of the that function on the watch, for some reason, it was a bummer. It doesn't work. It's broken. So I had to send it back to Germany. It's being fixed. I don't think I will have it for the. Uh, tri I'm pretty sure I won't have it for the trip to uh, Manila. I hope to have it for the New, uh, New England, the, the uh, Newcastle trip in England. All right. When am I coming to Georgia? You know what, Shane? I don't know. Here's the thing, man. It's really kind of hard. Uh, you know, right now, it's really interesting. Early on, it was like, you know, I wanted to go places. Now, the, like, we're about to start season four. And now what it is, it's like a, a Rubik's Cube. Um, not Rubik's Cube, wrong word. It's like a Tetris game of time. It's a matter of fitting. I have like this much time. I got to find a trip that I can fit in here. That's going to give me time from the last trip. To the, you know what I mean? So now it's just a matter of kind of um, making it work with time. I want to pack as much as uh, much in as I can, you know, see you in Newcastle for sure. Uh, said, said that cheese, the, uh, can't remember the name. It just had, it. it was amazing. Boy, that was so good. So I know what date I'll be heading to Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. I'm not sure. I am going to that con that uh, the Brisbane festival. I'm also going to the Sydney and one in Perth. So I have three different trips in, in, in 2020 uh, to uh, Australia. But I'm, I'm not sure the dates on that yet, Brad. But I will be there. We also just set up a t uh, trip for uh, February to Cape Town, South Africa. So. That's coming close as well. The uh, hot sauce, uh, I was just now with my partner, David uh, Foy. Um, hey, Nav, good to see you, dude. Thanks for joining us. But I was now with my partner uh, in uh, South Carolina, David Foy, and um, tasted two of the sauces. I had, uh, can't, well, I tasted the, I'm not gonna, I can't tell you. I tasted two of them. Actually, Bill Moore tasted them. He said they were amazing. They're really, I'm super, 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 super. Oh, yeah. You know, Jeremy uh, tasted it also. Um, it's an amazing sauce. Um, so I don't think we can change, we're going to change anything. So, uh, but we've got a lot of stuff coming out. There's a lot of things that are rolling out before Christmas. Bunch of exciting stuff that I really can't talk about right now, but I was as time gets closer. 
Um, a challenge product, a new challenge product coming out. Um, the hot sauce line. And a few things that are really secret that I can't talk about yet, but they're going to be amazing. Uh, Vin says, hello from Michigan. Good to see you, Vin. True respect to family-friendly content. <clears throat> Always. Peace out, Tim. Thanks for hanging out. Man, rest a little bit, man. You're working too much. Um, Alan, I'll try to check it out. Um, it's really hard to keep up on everything. You know, it hap happens fast. It's hard to keep up on all of it, but I will check it out. Um, Merkster, where are you at? You said you'd like to, to host Charlie for an event. I think we may be able to make that work. It's a matter of time. If we can fit it in, I'm all about it. Uh, Tennessee, Knoxville. That'd be kind of cool. When is Johnny going up? Uh, I was at uh, Kingsport. <coughs> I'd come to Knoxville. It's just a matter of figuring it with time and stuff, trying to make it happen. When is Johnny going to post a guitar vid? Good question. Play guitar uh, this past weekend in uh, South Carolina. David Foy had one of those plays. All right. Any other questions, guys? All right. So um, that is awesome, Lawn Dog. Sport with that shirt proudly. We're going to go for another 23 minutes or so. We're going to wrap it up on the half hour. Uh, Guy, thanks to the two pinner. You're welcome. Can only eat one peanut. Got to get the tolerance up. Yeah, it's a hot stuff, man. Don't feel bad. It's crazy hot. Left eye, Pat. That's awesome. Um, shirts for sale. I'm working on a really cool shirt right now. I'm in the process of having it done. Um, and it's going to say on the front. It's going to have the capsation formula, I think, this on the front. and the back, it's going to say, chase the heat. Uh, I just got pepper in my eye. Uh, it's going to say, chase the heat world tour on the back with all the stops, all the different countries and all the places we've been. Because now the list is getting pretty long, so it makes for, it makes for a cool T-shirt. Um, okay, Lawn Dog, little tidbits. What's coming up for the 24-hour marathon? Oh, yeah, the eye. Enough. Come on, dude. I've seen you do it. It happens. You know, the funny thing is, when you get it in your eye, everything is saying, keep your eyes shut, keep your eyes shut. That's what your body's kind of telling you to do. But the way to get rid of it quickly is to blink your eye rapidly. That kind of goes away. See? I'm feeling good already. Is my mouth on fire? Not at all. I'm excited about that shirt. Really am. It's going to be a cool one. All right there. Um, Dodd saw me in South Carolina. Yeah, Dodd's very cool. I got some pictures with Dodd and a fucker butt. Got a cool CD and a T-shirt from him. He was really cool. He said, man, if you find anything on the CD you want to use, you got copyright permission to use it. So... Uh, 25 hours. It's not 24 hours. It's going to be 25 hours as usual. You know why, right? Because anybody can do a 24 hour live stream if it's worth doing. It's worth overdoing. So we're going to do a uh, 25 hour live stream. The hottest bar at Willie Pete's is, to my knowledge, the Nemesis. Uh, I don't think anything's closer. Well, yeah. Uh, the Chili Cherry Nightmare is close. But uh, Roger Trier's Nemesis is definitely the hottest bar he's got. I don't know. What are there? 20? Roger's here. What are there? 28 peppers in that, Roger? There's 18 in the, in the Chili Cherry Nightmare. And uh, in the white version, there's still only 18. But I'm telling you, for some really bizarre reason, that white chocolate is ha hot. Hotter than uh, the dark chocolate. For real. I wouldn't lie to you. Yeah, Nemesis. Have I tried one? Yeah, I did a uh, 
Number one, it's an absolutely phenomenal tasting chocolate bar. So, yes, I have tasted it, and it is incredible. Uh, and I did the challenge as well, which were ears popped like crazy, sort of hallucinated a little bit. Panic bar, nah. Nah. I think it would be for a lot of people. Uh, it got my attention. Undivided. Excuse me. All right. See, 28 to 29 Reapers. There's 10 more Reapers in uh, Roger's Nemesis than there is in my Chili Cherry Nightmare. But truth to be told, they're both really vicious pepper uh, candy bars. Neither one of them are a joke, you know. It's not like they're both brutal. Um, yeah, if I want to see you do the Nemesis, bro. Um, really fantastic tasting, though. No, no joke at all. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the end, Alan or Dustin. Um, yeah, man, that chili cherry nightmare is delicious. It's a good step up, good starting point. The nemesis is brutal, though, man. What about a shirt that says, I'm in the family or in the squad? Thought about things like that. I've had shirts that says Scoville Squad on the back, so we've done a few of those already. Um, some of the nicer shirts, like one of my favorites, is a really, really clean shirt. All it has is hashtag uh, Scoville Family. Man, I loved that shirt. It was classy, really clean. I like that a lot. I think the uh, I'm pretty excited about the uh, World Tour shirt. I think that'd be kind of neat because there is like on the World Tour, there's a lot of spots in the U.S. like Dallas, New York, Tennessee, Ohio, Chicago. Um, and it's going to have Tampa on the list, but it's also going to have, um, you know, the Philippines, Sydney, Perth, Auckland, London, um, Cape Town, South Africa. So it's going to be kind of neat. That's going to be, a, I think it'll make for a pretty cool shirt. Uh, I make bad decisions with a picture of a Reaper under it. Uh, boy, you know, like the Reaper, making you question your life decisions since 2014. Uh, I don't need the Hang on a sec. I lost, I had a comment there and it disappeared. I thought it was kind of funny. Oh, yeah, Long Dog. Uh, I thought that was funny. Listen, if somebody doesn't want to buy a T-shirt because I lost a contest, not really Scoville family, in my eyes anyway. So it doesn't matter. I'm not really uh, – here, here's the thing. There are some people that are um, just do contests. That's not me. I'm Johnny Scoville. I'm a pepperhead. Certainly I enter contests, but it's not my identity. My identity is I'm Johnny Scoville, so – if somebody has an issue that I've lost a, 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 a contest, I think that's funny. I really do. Um, Johnny was a really down-to-earth guy, very cool dude. If he comes to your neck of the woods, make sure you go out to support him. He's a warm welcome for a Thank you, Robert. That's pretty cool of you. Appreciate that. Moab is a great candy bar, too. Man, I love it. The karma makes that thing really, really hard to get down. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Guy. Um... Oh, let's see here. Nothing to love you. Thank you enough, man. You're solid, too. I'm telling you, man, I'm waiting for the day that we get to do a video together, man. I think that would be wickedly fun. But I don't want to do it like a split screen, man. I want to do that like in the same room with you. I think that would be like really. Um, yeah, it will be fun. Uh, all right. Any last, let's see. We're getting, we're necking it out 15 minutes left before we're finished, so. Um, any last questions, any weird questions, anything about coming up, anything about season three, upcoming season four? Yeah. The guy, the one was a madman. That's Dustin Johnson, atomic menace. He's like I said, he's broken, you know, uh, we're all broken, but he's broken. Um, nice dude too. I got a chance to hang out with him. He's an awfully nice guy. 
Uh, love ACDC, uh, Steve Designs. There's one of my, listen, when I started playing guitar, you know, four four chords, you can play almost almost all of ACDC stuff. So I was a big fan of ACDC early on. Still am now. I mean, black, listen, Back in Black, one of the greatest albums of all time. That's one of the albums, if you got stuck on an island, you take that. Every single song on it is just amazing. Uh, I want to take you to eat fresh pods in the eye wall of a major hurricane. You know what? That wouldn't be such a bad idea. Nick, I can see that. Chase the heat. Chasing the tornado. The only problem with that is <coughs> you're wicked at the, mer the liberty of the weather. If you could say to me, Johnny, be here on this date. We're going to jump in my car. We're going to eat some peppers while we go 90 miles an hour chasing a hurricane or an eye wall or whatever. I'm all about that. I do that, but you can't do that. You know what I mean? You can't say, oh, it's going to happen this day. We can, I've seen the videos, dude. No, you can't. I've seen videos of people like, come on. That's how I've seen them all. They drive around for like two weeks for a two second flash where they get sort of excited for 10 seconds. I'm a, I, you know, I'm a kind of a, uh, now I like living my, I like excitement. I like living on the edge. So I would do that, but I need a, an idea of when it would happen. And the problem is for the next, like probably right now is a good time. And for the next, couple months i have no time it does sound pretty fun i think it would sound great desiree but tornadoes are tough but hurricanes we have good notice well you know what maybe we can, uh, philippines i can get what they don't what do they have over there uh typhoons or something they don't call it a hurricane over that thing it's called a typhoon um you know what's crazy at the last time i was in uh the philippines i think it was the last night or the second or the night before the last night I don't have a picture. I don't have to bore you the picture. There was a storm coming in. I mean, it was scary looking. And I was like all kind of nervous about it. So I was messaging the, guy, the guys I was with. like, nah, it's not going to come close. It just blew by us. But you could see it, you know. It was amazing. Uh, the dude is having dengue fever outbreak. Yeah, I saw that. Go, Don't go soon. I'm going in two weeks, man. Two weeks from tomorrow. I'll be fine. I don't think that dengue fever could live inside my body. Listen, I got plenty. Of, I, I got this much blood in my capsaicin system. We're good. Excuse me. Dio. Love Black Sabbath. Just spray up. You got that right. Now, nah, man, a, a mosquito lands on my arm. They can smell the capsaicin. They're like, man, uh, you know what? Just like we see like orange frogs and yellow frogs, we shouldn't touch it. Trust me. They have, like, funky vision. And when they see me, they're like, oh, don't bite that guy. Uh, Vader's from the Philippines. Awesome. I'll be there, and I leave on the 22nd. Be there pretty soon. Can't wait. I need to get some more tattoos. I'm going to get a bunch of new ink when I'm there. And what I want to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, like, to here. So all of the from here down will be covered on this next trip. That is my goal. Good to see you, Travis. Uh, you got any more jigsaws? Yeah, I love jigsaws. I'll eat them. I don't have any now, but um, I make questionable decisions with the Reaper under it for a T-shirt. I make questionable. Yeah. I thought of a couple of good ideas. Yeah, here's the thing: you never know what people are gonna like, you know. But don't worry about the spelling. No big deal. Paranoid's a great tool. War pigs, great tune. Oh my gosh. Um, I've not had that yet. AP, looking out for it. Oh well, guys, listen, we're ten minutes away from wrapping this thing up. So if you got any questions you want to ask, fire away. Johnny, go uh, get stream art if you want something easy set up for the last split screaming, split stream, free version. Yeah, but listen, you know me, Roger. Man, I barely know how to send an email. Text messages, I'm good with. I'm not very technical. I, I need somebody to, you know what? Talk to Desiree. She can walk me through it, maybe. Um, Ozzy Osbourne chasing the heat. Roger, I, need, I read you. All right, Desiree, you can help me, maybe. Um... Legit 10 minutes, guys. And we're going to bounce out of here and let you guys get back to your evening. Um, let me check this out. I have a feeling I have something unique here. No word on the Pepper X being released. Hang on one second, guys. Um, all right. 
This pepper right here. Hang on a minute. This is an Ai Charapita. And I think. Just a minute here. Hey, Duff, thanks for hanging out, brother. I appreciate you hanging out with me. As always, I appreciate it. Let's do that video, bro. I think it would be fun. I think this is it. Hang on. Yeah, this pepper here, I'm looking forward to eating. Nice little kick to salads and sauces. I think I have two of them. Let me eat one of these things right now. We're going to munch this whole thing. Hey, Jalen. Good to see you. A little better. Yeah. Uh, Nick, I did see the dude that vaped the Reaper. Uh, put powder as I snorted it. You know, listen, I have issues, but kind of wink, wink, nudge, nudge issues. That dude's got issues. Like, sit on my couch. Tell me about it. Kind of issues. So, yeah, a little too much for me. Uh, Uh, nice flavor on that little pepper. Just too small is the problem. Uh, Jalen, get your email address to Desiree if you could. That would be good. That would help. Uh, wink, wink. Um, any last questions, folks? We're just about wrapping it up here. We are eight minutes away, and we're going to stick this thing in the history books. Call it a night. But we will do it again tomorrow. Yeah, Jalen, email Desiree at Desiree Donovan at G, uh, T, CTH at gmail.com. Um, so listen, think about this for a minute. We, If you've never done one of our live streams that go for 25 hours, I've, I've been on for raw, as rare as the law will allow. It's how I like my steak. I cooked one yesterday, like sear it for a minute on each side. Anyhow, um, in about seven minutes, we, this video will have been going on for one hour. Imagine doing that 25 hours back to back, 25 times nonstop. Crazy. It's a lot of fun. Have a good night, Carolyn. Sweetheart, take care. Be good. Very cool to meet you, guy. Very, very neat. Very down to earth, dude. I told you I'm just a normal guy, man. People think I'm not. But when you get around me, you're like, man, he really is. All right, Jeff Coy, just for fun, an unrelated favorite cartoon from my youth, Tom and Jerry, Donald Duck. Just curious. Good question. Uh, big Bugs Bunny fan. Kind of a Bugs Bunny dude. Um, although I have all, I don't know, I have, you guys are going to laugh at me. I have a reoccurring dream about Michigan J. Frog. Michigan J. Frog. Hello, my honey. Hello, my da baby. Hello, my racks. I got he dances and sings. You know what I mean? And then when somebody's looking, he goes, ribbit, ribbit. Um, second, no one's looking. He starts dancing with a top hat and cane and everything. You know, Michigan Frog. So I have this dream about him all the time. And it's always in different situations. You know what I mean? Like the last time I had a dream, I was in the back of a Uber. I sit down in Uber. I look over, and there's Michigan J. Frog on the seat. And he starts looking at me and dancing, right? And then I'm looking at the guy. I don't want if I I know that the second I say something, he's gonna sit down and do the ribbit thing. So I'm trying to get him to look without saying anything, because the the frog's really in tune with speaking and stuff. And the second you say something, he's like ribbit. So I was trying to do the old eye thing, but so I dream about Michigan J Frog sometimes. And, and when I dream, when I eat too much peppers, I dream in uh, color. True story. What do I think about people who overreact when they eat peppers? I don't know. I think, you know, it is what it is. Some people, you know, I, I can't tell people how to act or how to be. I'm just very different. So, and I don't know. 
Uh, I've not eaten pepper X, so I've had pepper uh, X and sauces, but never a pod. But I will. What's he in that pepper? I don't know. The, the little one? No heat. Uh, like half point. Uh, nothing really. If we're going to do another side tube of terror on live, I'm going to tackle it. I would love a side tube. <clears throat> I do drink coffee. Coffee I'm drinking right now is Death Wish coffee. Oh, I love it. But yeah, we'll have some. I'm going to have like 25 li uh, tubes of terror for the live stream. I'll do one an hour. Uh, they'll be signed. And here's the cool thing they won't just be signed by me, they'll be signed by David Foy also. David Foy is the man. Um, thank you, Jalen. Appreciate it. I think Megan was here just a minute ago. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, all the mods that are here, Desiree and Jeremy and Corey. Um, he's been busy. Yeah, those, it was a crazy challenge, dude. Very hot. All right, we're just about done, dude. Yeah, we'll get you one of those signed. We'll have plenty of them signed, Brad. All right, four minutes left. Any last questions? Any chance to get some chocolate challenges given the live stream? Yeah, we'll probably do one of those at some point. Excuse me. Uh, Mark, I'm sorry you were able to see you when we met in the UK, but I'll see you next time. I'll be in Newcastle in October. I have Junior with me, so I'll be there. It'll be fun. Hopefully, we can meet then. Uh, Alan, have a good night, dude. Thanks, for everybody, for hanging out with us. Uh, Left Eye Pat, good to see you, man. Uh, Vader, good to see you. We'll see you in Philippines in just a little over two weeks. Uh, Rots, thanks for hanging out. Merkster, thanks for hanging out, dude. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, be back here on 916, 25 hour. All right, guys, we still have three minutes. We'd sneak Hampton in. Can I sneak in one more question? Anybody have one? Uh, Brad Crane, thank you so much. Uh, let's see here. Can you pass out from eating too many peppers? I've seen pe people have done it. So I know it can't. I can't, but it can be done. Um, last question. Can I have a nice night for you and tell your dad we love him? Jeff Coy, thank you so much. I will have a very nice evening. I'm going to definitely tell my dad that. Um, for the review, isolated seeds available. Um, hey, Jimmy Pickles. Thank you, dude. Um, wonderful pods. You'll see more reviews tomorrow. Rio Mahoney, just assign the tube. Just uh, just don't eat them. Yeah, they're pretty warm. All right, guys, we have three minutes left. Jimmy Pickles. Thank you, dude. You're awesome, too. For those of you who don't know, Jimmy Pickles is a great guy. He's not just a good businessman. He's a good guy. He's honest. Um, he started his channel at the same time I started mine, so that was kind of cool. We have that kind of a – got that shared thing going on here. Jalen, have a great night, girl. Appreciate you hanging out with us. Um – Two minutes, guys. We still have 52 people here watching. We got two minutes before we put this in the books. Any last questions? Do I do I still have my coffin? I have my hot sauce coffin, yes, for hot sauce. But my coffin that I used to sleep in is in the chapter room in my fraternity house at the university where I went. So I don't have it anymore. Wish I did. Wouldn't really have a place to put it, though. So it was a good thing for the time. Uh, Megan, if you could, if you're still here, email Desiree Donovan at uh, uh, Desiree Donovan CTH at gmail.com. Johnny, are yellow peppers usually sweeter? Uh, sweeter, yeah, fruitier, less bitter, less floral, more kind of citrusy, for sure. Uh, Jeff Coy, crap, I lied. The last real question, no problem. Everybody smash that like button for Johnny. Yeah, smash that like button. Appreciate it. Hey, Jeff, you're a good guy. Appreciate it. Dustin, going to have some green beans after this. Maybe have another harvest, make some spicy and pickle. Very good. Uh, I'm not sure the handful of fresh. Uh, catfish redneck, got nine super hot plants in the garden. We'll contact you. Please do. Chase tea at gmail.com. Do our refrigerator sauces? No. Only fruit based sauces. Everything else I leave out. Doesn't kill me. I'm still here. Never been sick. What fraternity? Lambda Iota. You wore your Johnny shirt proudly. Thank you, Jeremy. Uh, Mike Hefner, Dutch guy. Love you, dude. We got to figure out a way to get me there. I want to see your country. Um, thank you, Raymond Silva. Um, one minute left, people. Any last questions? Merkster, have a good night, dude. Um, hello from Stratford, Ontario, Canada. Very cool. I'll be there this year. Before, 20, before the end of the year, I'll be in Canada. Holy Moses, I keep my sauces cold. I don't like cold sauces on warm food. It, it hurts the flavor. That's it. 
Um, I also think flavor uh, sauce tastes better and they smell a whole lot better warm than they ever do cold. I'm amazing to watch. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate that. All right, guys, we're wrapping this thing up now. Who loves you? I do. I'm Johnny Skull. In the description box, you'll see a link for Jimmy Pickles. Check him out. He's the man. He's my friend. Isolated seeds, grape pods, okay? Um, all kinds of cool stuff in the description box, okay? Right there, you're going to see the pepper. Click this to be part of our family. If you don't want to miss a video, you won't. Click the bell for notification, all right? Uh, August the 16th, 25-hour live stream. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. I'm Johnny Scoville, and this is Chase the Heat.